fact is first of all to thank the president who is our party leader his excellency the president for the good work that he has continued to do for the unity of purpose that he has bestowed in kenya and even for the effort that he is putting to bring all people together uh, and so as a party we are indeed very very grateful we are also saying as a party we are in support of the four big agenda that is already in senate the issue of sharing uh, the resources the national cake but we are concerned that people are not worried about are not focusing on how do we bake this cake where do we get the ingredients to bake the cake? You cannot just talk of cutting the cake and you don't want to be part of, you know, the baking process. So we are saying as a party that one man, one vote, one sharing is the only fair way that we should embrace as Kenyans. As Kenyans, that's the only fair way that we should embrace. In fact, we are saying, even as we move on as a nation, there will come a time when you shall be checking on what you have submitted as a county. When you talk of the GDP, when you talk of uh, you know, the revenue correction, what have you contributed? So that even as you talk about sharing, you can say, you see here, we've done this, we've done that, and we have you know, contributed positively to the baking of the cake. But we cannot just talk of sharing, sharing, and we are not even looking at the ways of even improving our counties. We need to improve the economy right from the grassroots. It's supposed to be bottom-top approach. If we embrace bottom-top approach, we shall check on our development from the sub-counties, from the counties, and then Kenya will never be the same again. The party has structures, party structures, where grievances are addressed. And uh, we therefore note with a lot of concern the emerging issues within Kiambu County Assembly that needs to be addressed. All the MCAs actually, those that are elected through, Patele, through Jubilee, are required to submit their issues, their grievances. Party officials, as you've seen, are ready to listen. Because why should we continue fighting? Why should we, I mean blow the whistle why it's not necessary. The party has its structures and the officials are there waiting for this. We can always consult. We can always uh, harmonize what is happening. And if there is need for disciplinary action, the party is there. We want to strengthen the party. To believe as a branch that all party leaders, I mean all elected people through our Jubilee party, we hope they can remember their party. So that even like what we can see in Senate, if you have not resigned from your party, then for me, I think you should support you, continue to support your party. Tea. We also want to echo and appreciate the work that is going on through our governor, uh, Honorable Nyoro, Dr. Nyoro, because one, since he came in, we realized that a lot of work has gone on. Come to the issue of um, the hospitals. We even have more than the 300 beds they are talking about. He is so strategic when it comes to COVID-19. And so as Kiambu, though we are disadvantaged because kind of we are near Nairobi, we can see a lot of commitment from the governor and the team. And so as, as a party, we appreciate and we ask our governor, Dr. Nyoro, to continue with the work. We are behind him. We are not talking about I mean, uh, politics this time. It's all about development.